Guys, well, last night on News 5 at 11, our investigators showed you how recent problems with the Home Energy Assistance Program had people frustrated just trying to get some help. Yeah, tonight, just in time for the Winter Crisis Program kickoff, on your side, investigator Jonathan Walsh brings us new details on changes that agencies in our area started making after we started bringing the issues to light. I'm more than frustrated. I'm, I'm really aggravated. We introduced you to Elizabeth Parasuti, who lives in Cuyahoga County. I'm up all hours, day and night, trying to get through. That was before we got involved with her case, and now she has help with her utility bills. What goes through your mind when you're trying to help people and they're having problems getting through? Well, first, we really appreciate you letting us know that there was um, a problem with some of our customers getting through. Douglas Bennett told me after we informed the Council for Economic Opportunities in Greater Cleveland about problems Elizabeth and others were having, they went into action. We've changed the voice recording now, so it makes it a little bit more customer friendly. So they actually are put to different areas, so they just don't get either a busy signal or not being able to make an appointment. The council has also made applications available online and people can then mail them or walk them into the offices. And starting today, November 1st, walk-ins can start at 6.30 a.m. One of the big messages from the council is that whenever you feel like you are or will soon have problems with paying your utility bills, it is willing to help. Be proactive. They told me they are ready to help for the winter crisis. We're trying to make improvements um, to make sure that we get to the customers that need our services. The Ohio Development Services Agency that is in charge of the money going to county agencies also thanked us for contacting it about the problems customers were having. It acknowledged agencies had been directing some people to make appointments when they did not require an appointment, causing a log jam. It also admitted they are working with the agencies to better inform and serve the customers. And remember HEAP coordinator for Akron Summit, Dolores Henderson? Improvement. can't really say at this time. While she didn't see any improvement needed, Development Services worked with the agency and noted a change on Akron Summit's website since we started asking questions. Red, bold-faced verbiage about what's not needed for some appointments. I'm On Your Side Investigator, Jonathan Walsh.